People have complained my blower motor only works on high, you know, or my AC only works on high, my heater only works on high. Um, your blower motor is located. The way to find your blower motor is let's just show you real quick. Go around and pop the hood on your car. And if I move slow, this is more pleasant to watch, but it's a lot longer to watch. In favor of all those who value time, I'm going to make you a little sick by going fast. Look at the back firewall. That's the part that separates the engine compartment from the cabin. And you'll see two hoses that go in, the heater hoses. And that'll give you an indication of where it is. Look at your AC lines that go into the same box. So I know it's going to be on the passenger side on this car at about this point. So then you go around and you look underneath. This one I had to pull down a cover. This is a Chrysler Sebring. It's a O2. And there's a little uh, nut that holds it in in the center. So I pulled the nut off. I set that aside. And as I look underneath, sure enough, here's a telltale sign of a blower motor. You can see a big electrical plug and two wires. And then you see this over here. This is the problem. This is why it only works on number four. Let me show you. Turn the key on. And turn the dial, you'll just have to listen for it. Turn the dial to one, nothing. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Four, it goes crazy. So anyway, I don't want to leave that on too long or else the part that failed which I'm going to introduce you to. It's held in by a couple of bolts, one on each side. On almost every domestic car, it's an 8 millimeter or 5 sixteenths. So you pull that down, and this is what the old part looks like. This is the one that comes from the factory. This is the one that I'll be putting in. It's the same thing. They're usually about 4 or 5 pins. And it's called, are you ready for this? called the blower motor resistor and it has different circuits when it runs power directly through it without doing any resistance it uh, is just a straight shot and that's why number four the high setting always works because there's nothing to resist or there's no resistors to burn out otherwise it's resistors and what it does is it creates resistance or ohms in the circuit so that it slows it down so the power that goes to the blower motor through those two wires that we just showed you right there it has to go through a bunch of resistance and it makes the blower motor go slower and then the rest is just dissipated as heat now why this is mounted where it is is because it needs a lot of cooling you know to go across it because it's taking all that power and just dumping it off as heat and so it has to have cooling or else the metal will decay and you know eventually it'll die and it won't work that's what's happened with this one here the old one so anyway Chrysler has these there's no other way to say it they're god-awful <laughs> uh, safety clips on everything so you have to get a screwdriver and get that stupid red clip out of there before it'll unbuckle like any normal kind of a plug so I'll get a screwdriver and take care of that and plug this one in and then we'll show you from now, there. Of course if this is on a minivan or something of that sort you'll find this under the hood because the whole box that contains your evaporator and your heater core where those heater hoses and the air conditioning lines go it'll all be under the hood in a big plastic box. You'll find your blower motor resistor or at least this much of it on the outside uh, under the hood of the car. So. That's where you find on a Chevy Astro van or a GMC Safari or some of these other minivans that won't be on the kit passenger side kick panel. It'll be under the hood. So look for it there. Good luck. All right. Now that I have a screwdriver so that I can lock pick this god awful design, I push this pin up or shove it out of the way and then pull it back. Whatever happened to unbuckling things with just your fingers? You know what I'm saying? Back in the day when you could just like push on the tab. Japanese have a good design. They give you a nice big button to push and they consistently work and they consistently hold well. This, I mean, this is like, instead of designing something that clicks together and just makes sense, this is like an extra precaution to compensate for a piece of crap god-awful design. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs>
I mean, it's just like designing something that's a jerry-rigged. I'm gonna have to use two hands and a screwdriver to undo this thing. This is this is how ridiculous this plug is, in my opinion. This is why I don't like them. It's so much harder to work with. Did I not pull that? I mean, that creates risk and wear and tear on the back of these wires. It's just a really stupid design, Chrysler. You wonder why you people are going out of business all the time. It's because you... Ah, if their engineering is as nonsense as their marketing and their finance department, etc., no wonder they struggle. I still have to get a screwdriver and go in there because this is so thin and so, I mean, that is ridiculous. Look at that. You got this big long arm that's just lazy and can't get off the plug and then this flexes too. So when you pull on the tab, it flexes this up to compensate to hold on. Ah. That's ridiculous. If this were a Japanese car, a reliable Honda or Toyota, you push on the tab, you pull it out, and you're done. With this one, I had to pick that little red tab underneath with a screwdriver, then fight with this, and then in the end go in with a screwdriver and unplug it. On the next one, I'll know better, but it just shouldn't be that hard. I mean, it's not this complicated nuclear missile launch where we have to have absolute for sure decision to un no push the button unbuckle it that's all you need so anyway this is a blower motor resistor and my rant about stupid chrysler plugs with these red tabs in them i absolutely hate them the other thing i hate about these plugs is that their plastic is so crappy and cheap that it breaks you know you go to undo something and plug it back if you, especially their fuel injection connectors I don't like those so anyway I want to spread peace and love and joy but I just get so cranky about some of these things this drives me crazy that I want to vent and so I just vent to the internet anyway that's how you do it and then you stick this back oh you want to see how that works now turn the key on four works three works two one isn't that nice? You can feel that blow. Probably can't see. Let's try this again. Same dial. A little bit more. Beautiful. Lower motor resistor. That's how you fix it. As always, I do this because I love you. Be sure to show some love by rating thumbs up or five star or whatever Google decides to do with it in the future. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos.